North America, many government agencies and landowners turned to grass carp to control unwanted vegetation in their lakes and ponds. I would like to point out just one possible danger in stocking this Asian fish species. Back in 1987, Lake Ketchabiglin had an abundance of weeds and algae, covering as much as 25% of the water surface. I didn't care for the weeds at all. It seemed like I was forever cleaning the strands of algae or weed stems from my lure after each cast. Never mind that the largemouth bass were huge. The bluegill and yellow perch were equally impressive. But never mind that. Never mind, too, that the water was usually clear, beckoning us to swim in it. Those weeds were inconvenient, and I wanted them gone. It just so happens that in 1987, Ohio passed a law allowing for the sale and stocking of grass carp, but they had to be genetically modified to prevent them from reproducing. In this altered form, they're known as triploid grass carp, so I jumped on the opportunity to get them for Lake Catch a Big One. I started by stocking a low number of them, but sadly, I saw no results after the first year. So I ordered more and more of them each year. Finally, I stopped in 1990. It was then that I finally began seeing a very noticeable reduction in the vegetation. I had stocked 180 of them in this six acre lake. I was initially thrilled at the result. My joy soon grew to disappointment though, as each summer the water seemed to lose its clarity. By late July it had an olive green tint. By August it looked like someone had spilled buckets of green paint onto its surface. I did some research and I figured out the problem. Because of my impatience, I had ordered too many grass carp. They ate all the plants and algae all right, but now there was nothing in the lake to take up the nutrients in the water. Well, there were no plants that a grass carp could grab a hold of. The only vegetation that flourished now were those single-celled plant-like guys called phytoplankton. Without other plants competing, phytoplankton turns the water an ugly green. Yes, the damage was done. You see, the damage is not just in loss of visual appeal. The fish habitat has been harmed. The size of the largemouth bass have steadily declined, noticeably. Yes, I long for the lake catch a big one of old, weeds and all. Well, you might wonder, if the grass carp can't reproduce, why are they still swimming around in lake catch a big one? The youngest of them would have to be at least 24 years old. Scientists say the life expectancy for the fish is from 10 to 15 years. You would be right in assuming that they should all be dead by now, but the scientists are wrong. There are dozens of them still alive and eating any plant that would dare send up a green shoot in this lake. With the help of good neighbors, we fenced off a small corner of the lake from the grass carp to see if we could re-establish plants there. With the help of these same good neighbors, we've taken to shooting the grass carp. They now weigh 30 pounds each. They're extremely difficult to hit with any firearm or bow and arrow because they can usually see you before you can see them. Also, the slightest twitch of your finger sends them flying in a panic. They sometimes come to the fish feeder, but since the water becomes so murky so quickly, spring is the only time to get a sight on them. This 
really nothing in them to grab on to, is there? Well, he died really fast, Paul. He rolled over immediately. And <laughs> 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 you keep missing them. How could they? Well, how could you miss, Paul? Huh? <laughs> I don't know if we're missing, but they sink. Yeah. So how big is this one? About 30 some pounds? Oh. 38 inches? He's still inches? alive. He's oh, it's a trouble. Yeah, I mean, I've done, done that. They rolled. So let me close by saying this. If sterilized grass carp can cause so much damage to the fish habitat and the water quality of Lake Catch a Big One, just imagine what reproducing Asian carp could do to the Great Lakes. Please let's not ignore the danger. And if you're stocking your own body of water, well, be judicious. Thank you. Mm -hmm.